Alright, so this is the beginning of the regular Keo tutorial. Yesterday was EX Keo, today is regular Keo. I prefer Keo 95, I think that sounds way better. 95. Um, so, the Keos are different. And in my other video I went over how you want to play EX Keo. Regular Keo has a few more interesting close range options that make him a bit distinct. The way his normals work, some of the frame data is a bit different. Um, his ranged game is a bit different. His uppercut is different. Like, pretty much everything is different. The only thing that's the same is they have the same jumps and they have the same normals, at least in how they look. However, their function can be slightly different, usually based on frame data or there's a hitbox somewhere. Um, so let's just go over his normals just to start. Uh, let's see. I already covered most of this. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Standing A. Doesn't have a lot of range. It's a good anti-air but because it, it's really fast, but it doesn't reach very far. So not as good as some of the other standing A's in the game. It does cancel to itself, though. And you can chain it into command rolls. So you can do interesting stuff on that. Uh, his standing hard punch is pretty terrible. You're usually going to get this by accident. It doesn't reach very far. Um, because it's so slow, it's not a great anti-air. It is cancelable. So it's feasible that you could maybe try to do something off of this, but you're usually going to get it by accident. Like, you're going to try to do, uh, to do like a, a run-up close to Fierce, but you'll forget the run or something, and you'll just get one of these, and that's going to suck. But, uh, um... I honestly don't see it a whole lot in high level play. They usually never want that move. It's a pretty bad standing hard punch overall. Um, let's see. Standing light kick. It is cancelable. Okay. However, you can't really do anything off of it. You can cancel a special, but you can't go into a command normal. Okay, you can't go into a command normal, and it doesn't, it doesn't chain to anything. If you do a standing light kick, your string is over. You can't chain it into anything to any other normals whatsoever. So if you do do a standing light kick, it needs to be the last normal you use, because after that, your pressure is over. Um, his standing hard kick is really quick, and it can be off the ground depending on the positioning, so you can go over some low attacks. It's a decent anti-air against uh, characters that hop really low. Um, it's also really good just for maintaining pressure. You might be saying, Juice, I saw the EX Kia video, you already explained this. And well, yeah, because they have the same normals. The difference would be frame data, usually. Um, there are, like, as far as the actual normals themselves, there's only very, very, very few differences that aren't frame data. And don't forget the frame data that we do have that is available is in the description of every video, so if you are curious, please look that up. Alright, next we have... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, standing CD. Um, not that great. It doesn't reach very far. You can try to use it, like, from a couple of pokes away as a delayed poke. Just like every standing CD in the game, you can with cancel it. Um, you can cancel it on contact. Has good block stun and on counter hit. You can score a combo. Okay. Um, it'll depend on your style how much you use it. Uh, let's see. Now, crouching normals. Uh, let's see, his crouching C and his crouching D um, are fairly standard. His crouching D trips, so you can use it from like three books away. Oh, wait, or can you? Ah. Dep uh, huh. EX Kios would actually reach over here. I might want to do some more testing. Their crouching Ds might be a little bit different. But, um, I mean, you can use that after like a string to maybe try to keep them uh, blocking. Uh, you can definitely whiff cancel it. You can also whiff cancel uh, Crouching C. Not that you get much from it. Uh, crouching C is a really, really fast anti-air, but depending on the spacing and angle, it might work, but it might not. Okay. It's liable to trade, but it's going to just depend on your reactions and where you're standing. But uh, it's a decent anti-air in some pressure situations. Uh, let's see. Is crouching A and crouching B? Um, let's see.
Um, his crouching A, I don't believe you can get three. Nah, it doesn't look like you can get three. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me on that. Uh, his crouching light kick, though, you definitely can. His crouching light kick chains a little faster. So if you chain it fast enough, you can do low jab, uh, excuse me, low kick, low kick, low jab. If you chain this too slow, the jab does miss. Some people ask why I double tap so much. It's for strings like this. If I want that jab to hit, I need to be as fast as possible on this string. And in order for you to do that, you need to hit your chain windows as soon as you possibly can. See, that time I failed. Okay, so being able to actually land those sorts of combos is one of the reasons you might want to double tap, but I'll go over that in some other video. In fact, I believe I did go over that in a, in a video I, uh, the gym, uh, the, the, when I was explaining to Jim uh, a bunch of different mechanics. Go ahead and watch that video if you want to learn a little bit more about double tapping. Um, but as far as these normals go, um, he can chain them into each other, but again, unless you do the two crouching light kicks, he won't be able to get three attacks. Um, his low jab can go into command normals, but the low light kick cannot. Okay, so what you, uh, so what you usually want to do for a string is low kick, low jab, command normal, or if you're fast enough, uh, you can do it with two kicks if you're fast enough. Um, but they're fairly standard otherwise. Um, jumping normals. Uh, let's see. Jumping light kick can cross up. Uh, let's see. O other than jumping light kick, though, uh, his other normals, no real major differences from EX Keo. Jumping A is a decent air to air, but jumping D, I tend to use a little bit more for air to air. Also, jumping CD. Um, just with both of these attacks, um, the front of his body is the active hitbox, and that's why it's going to be the best overall. Um, let's see. But the jumping light kick does cross up, and the jumping hard punch does have a decent angle if you jump in. Jump in with hard punch or maybe CD, usually. Sometimes light kick to mix it up. If you're defending yourself, use jumping hard kick or CD, and usually that'll get you the best mileage. Mix that up sometimes with jumping A. Um, let's see. And he has his air command normal. Okay. I will go over this, which is more or less exactly the same as the XKO, but this crosses up. And if you're really good, you can do these just in a row off a hyper hop. If you want to cross up with this, practice this. See if you can do it while you're talking. Oh, I, see, I was going to say, see if you can do it with your eyes closed. Was I doing it? Oh, I forget it. Um... Yeah, try to, try to do things with your eyes closed. If you can do it with your eyes closed, well, then maybe, you know. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> okay, I gotta try that when I'm done with this video. Alright, um, let's see. Uh, let's see. But, the jumping down hard punch, um, it crosses up. You can use it, especially if your opponent is crouching, to set up some really nasty stuff. Okay, um, it's really, really important that you understand how to utilize this, especially against crouching opponents, uh, because you absolutely can uh, have some absolutely ridiculous setups that you can fully hit confirm off of. Um, but uh, it's it's other use besides as a cross up is you can also use it to create more space. Keep this in mind. Same example as the EX Keo video. Three back dashes. I'm almost full screen. Whereas if you use the back, if you use the down C during a back dash, you go a little further. Okay. You don't have to go straight down. You can just use down back. Okay. You want to try to practice this. You want to see if you can do this while you're doing something else. See how many you can do in a row. You really never have to do more than three in a row ever, but you can use it to be really, really annoying and to really reset your spacing often time so that you don't really aggress against the opponent except every time you want to. But you can run up and say, I'm not going in. I'm not going in. I'm not going in. I'm not going in. Okay, I'm going in. Okay. 
Um, it's a really, really good spacing tool for that purpose. It's a good cross-up. It's really fast. It's really hard to see. And it combos to itself if you do do it right. Okay. So, in order to combo this to itself, you need to hit the first one very low on any jump. Hit them in the chest or the waist area. And then, and then hop and do it immediately when you hop again. Okay. Uh, it could be either hop, it could be a regular hop or a hyper hop, but as long as you do it immediately on the second hop and you hit the first one very low, this should work. And then after that, go to, go to close hard punch and do whatever you'd like. Okay. So that's that. Uh, next we have his ground command normals. He has the same two as EX Keo, but their function is different, okay? With regular Keo, this doesn't work. Set him to one hit guard. This doesn't combo. You can still use it as an overhead, okay? If the opponent is crouched guarding, okay? Notice he sets a crouch guard, so he's always holding down back. If you hit forward light kick, it does overhead. So you can absolutely, uh, you know, use it for people who are blocking too much. Um, and you know, try to get either an HD combo or uh, well, honestly, that's pretty much all you can do off of it. Uh, it's it isn't cancelable into anything else. Oh wait, there's one thing. No wait, can you do that? Nope, no Neomax. So uh, you can't cancel it into anything. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, yep, nothing. So with that in mind, unless you go to HD, there's really not a whole lot you can get off of it, but you absolutely can, you know, try to annoy your opponent with it, like right after a jump in. Um, but if you do chain into it, it is no longer an overhead at that point. Nope. Um, however, his down forward hard kick has two hits on it, and the first hit is cancelable. Into specials and everything else. So, it's going to be your main combo tool. It's also a really good HD confirm because of the two hits. Oops, my bad. That combo is so fun to do. <laughs> um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Um, oftentimes though, close C into down forward D will be like a basic combo string that you do. Another thing you can do is low jab, low, excuse me, low B, low A into the down forward D. That also grants you pretty much all the same combos. If you are fast enough, remember you can do the three attacks, okay? And if you're in the corner and you do these three attacks, you will still get full combos. Okay, let's see. But honestly, don't use down forward hard kick by itself. It's really slow, and if they jump at the same time, you're screwed. Don't use it by itself. It's also punishable on block by itself. Check it. Neomax punishes. DX Orochinagi punishes, I mean like, uh, yeah, don't use close C down forward D all the time thinking that if they block the second one you'll be safe, because you're not, okay? That's not even factoring in guard cancel rolls, but I won't go into that too much, okay? So, we're gonna start going over his specials now, let's start with his uppercut. Alright, so... This is more or less exactly what you think it is. This is an uppercut. Okay, and it actually does have some upper body invincibility. Keep in mind the light one doesn't have anything on the lower body. The fierce one is fully invincible, but it's slower on startup. And the EX one starts up faster than the others and has full body invincibility, okay? But if, you, they, if they do block it, you're going to go straight up. It's hilarious. Um, let's see. 
But the, uh, the light one does have upper body invincibility, so you can use it as a really good anti-air. The fierce also works, but again, you want to be really careful with your timing because it might be too slow. You might do it too slow, so you need to make sure your reactions are on point. Or just use light. EX is faster than all of them. It also has a slightly longer range, and you can use this uh, to anti-air kind of far away. Uh, let's see, what else was there? Uh, honestly, that's it. <laughs> Other than that, you will use it in some combos, like for example, that's a drive cancel you might see more than once. Or... Let's see, what else? Ah, this is a particular drive cancel. It gives a lot of people trouble. I will get I will get to that particular drive cancel in a moment. Um, let's see. But uppercut wise, nothing really complicated. Um, let's see. Uh, just to show you the damage, let me just show you the damage. 78, 125, 205. Great. Moving on. Okay, fireball. Ex Kyo doesn't have one of these. Okay, you have a light, a hard, and a, and a EX fireball, okay? They, uh, do, 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 do. 60, 60, 100, and knocks down. Um, the, the light one travels slowly, the fierce one travels faster. Why is that off? Turn that off, there we go. Light travels slowly, fierce travels faster, EX travels the fastest, okay? Now notice what happens when I hold up here. You can't really jump until it's all the way over there. Keo can't use it to uh, approach his opponent like, say, King, Andy, Kenso, Mai, Mature. His fireball is designed only to annoy or to make your opponent feel like they need to move so that they might jump into your uppercut or so that they, they you know, try to jump at you in the air so then you can get a jumping CD or something else. Um, don't use this too much. You don't build any meter just for throwing it. Once it makes contact, you do build meter, whether it was blocked or not. Okay. But keep in mind, when it comes to fireballs, the person blocking the fireball always gains more meter. Watch this. Look at that. He's already got half a bar and about a third of a drive. What do I have? Okay. So keep in mind, throwing fireballs a lot doesn't really work against people who know how to abuse the meter system, number one. And number two, it is kind of risky because you are stuck in recovery for a million years, okay? So there is risk involved with all projectiles, and this is true for all characters in the game. Um, let's see. But the EX one is really fast. It's almost unseeable, almost. And so you can use the EX version to try to really surprise your opponent. And if it does hit them, you know, you can try to run in and get more offense. There are some combos you can do with it, too. Uh, let's see. Oh, oops. <laughs> Didn't even finish it. Okay. Uh, so just keep in mind, uh, some corner combos do use the light fireball. Uh, but it's really not much more complicated than that. Throw it to be annoying, and then if you think they're going to jump, don't throw it. Use your uppercut, or if you think they're blocking it too much, run in and get your offense going. It's not really much more complicated than that. The EX1 can punish some things. That's about it, though. Reverse DP Kick. Hyakuichi Shiki Oboroguruma. I probably pronounced that completely wrong. Somebody, co somebody correct my pronunciation on that one as well. Okay. Um, reverse DP Kick. is pretty terrible. Not terrible, terrible. Um, well, let, let me actually go back just a step because I always forget this. Hey, Juice, does this projectile have any invincibility on it, especially the blue flashy one? Nope. Light fireball, no. Hard fireball, no. EX fireball, no. No invincibility, don't use it on wake up. It's not a good idea. On block? Uh, let's go ahead and record so we can choose in a string.
If you throw the light fireball in their face. Okay. It's actually not terribly negative. This is a semi-safe thing to do. But uh, you have to practice your input really well to actually do down forward light kick. Excuse me. To do down forward hard kick into fireball, that will take you some practice to actually do. Because you have to make sure that you don't hold the down forward for too long. Or you will get an uppercut. Okay. Um, let's see. Now. As far as the reverse DP kick goes... The hard and the EX look pretty much the same. The EX goes a little further. Don't think of this as an anti-air because it's not. It's really risky. If you throw this out and they block it, you are going to get destroyed. That thing is like minus 7 or 8 at best. And if you throw the hard one, eh, no. <laughs> if you throw the EX one, eh, no. No, you're going to get destroyed no matter what if it ever gets blocked. It's as bad as having an uppercut get blocked. Don't use it too much. Um, it's mostly useful for combos, okay? You can combo into it, like from a ground string or something. But... But that's not really what it's for. What this is for is... Uh, you could try to throw this out at mid-range. If you think your opponent's gonna hop at you, you could try to throw that out and buffer a super. So that if it hits... So that if it hits, you might get that. If you really want to spend a bar and a drive on something like that. You will get all the hits, even if you do it at like max, dis max distance. Okay. So honestly, like that is a use for it. But considering you need to burn meter to actually make it worthwhile, I mean, if this actually hits, you don't get a hard knockdown. They can very quickly passive move. Okay, if you get it really close, if you get it close enough... Well, actually, I I'll retract that statement. If you hit somebody with this and they're on the ground, you do have time to actually get up to their body even if they do passive move. So, you know, you could maintain your offense. But, I mean, it's not a lot of damage to be worth that kind of risk. It's only 40 damage, okay? You can use the hard one after some combos like this. And if you do land the hard one, you do get an unteckable knockdown. Remember, the passive move is on. Okay, so you can use that uh, hard knockdown to actually get some more offense. Um, and the EX version is good in some combos like this. Okay, um, that's basically it. As far as invincibility goes, nothing low on light, no, nothing low on hard kick. Okay, the EX version does have a little bit of low invincibility. Okay, so you can evade some lows with that. Um, but honestly, if you're... Uh, like, it's a decent wake-up option if you really think they're going low. But keep in mind, you could fear Shoryu, EX Shoryu, Uppercut, excuse me. Um, uh, or you could, of course, uh, you could try backdashing if they keep using lows. Uh, there's more I'll cover as far as wake-up options. Uh, it's okay, but just like all the other ones, it's unsafe, so don't throw it out too much. Um, his quarter forward kick. This differs from EX Kyo's in that you don't have to press another kick to get the second one to come out. It's quarter forward kick, second one comes out. Okay. However, the light heart and EX do serve some slightly different purposes. Um, the EX one, he lunges forward a fair bit before he actually does the kick. Because he lunges forward, you can almost kind of throw this out from far away. And it's possible you'll get a combo off that, and you will get a combo with full juggle. So 
So you could definitely do something off of it if you really wanted. Um, on block, let's see here. On block, it's actually plus one if they do block both kicks. Uh, they do have to. By setting them to one guard jump, that basically verifies that they have to block it, because the dummy is holding up during the block stun. Um, so this is going to be plus one or so on block. This is actually decent to mix up with. If you just throw this out. Oh, I'm plus. Let's go. Um, so, yeah, that's something you could do to like try to continue pressure. You could do something like this to make sure that you can absolutely, you know, continue what you were doing. Um, let's see. Now the light and the hard versions, okay? If you do the light one, that's not a guaranteed poke string. If they try to avoid between the first and second, they absolutely can get hit by this. There's not a whole lot you can combo afterwards, but in the corner, or if you spend enough meter, there are some things you can do. Uh, the hard version is also not a poke string, okay? So unless you EX this, they, they, they always have something that they can do in between the two attacks, okay? Uh, just, to, just to demonstrate, I will record the dummy. Light. Light version. Okay. Um, if a Keo player does this to you a lot, what you want to keep in mind is you can do something between the kicks. Okay? You can roll out without spending any meter. You could uppercut without spending any meter. Anything you have that's an upper body invincible, uh, you absolutely can throw in between the two kicks, and it will connect. So you want to take advantage of that whenever you can. This is the same on the hard kick version. Okay, exactly the same. Um, so what you need to keep in mind as a Keo player is that if they understand this, this is really not that great to have on block. Let's say they, uh, they were blocking low here. Let's say they were blocking low. And you did your three-hit string, but you did, you failed to confirm it, okay? You accidentally went into the special, okay? At this point, if your opponent is really smart, they will be able to punish this in between the kicks if they have good reaction time and they understand how this move works. And even if they don't, let's just put them on... Uh, let's just record the dummy just to show you this. I'm gonna hold up now. Even if the opponent blocks both kicks here... Okay, uh, let's see. The light one is going to be plus one or so on block, and uh, that's decent, but, you know, it's not going to happen a whole lot against great players. Um, it really is not. They know that they don't have to block that second kick, so they're going to uppercut you, or they're going to go ahead and just roll out or do something else in between those two kicks. Now, the hard kick version... The hard kick version is actually minus three. And any character that has a three frame reversal or a character that has a three a one frame command grab or something absolutely can punish the hard kick version of the special on block. So you need to make sure you are not abusing these on block. Number one, you can be reversal between the kicks. Number two, the hard kick version is bad on block, okay? Um, don't abuse this. If you are a beginner, do not cancel stuff into this on block. In fact, don't cancel into specials at all. Just end with your normals. If your opponent is blocking your stuff, don't try to throw a fireball. Don't try to go into down forward hard kick and then cancel to a kick or anything. Just stop. Just stop. Don't, don't do anything else. Continue pressure with something else. Okay? Just be like, oh, he's blocking my stuff. All right, I'll go again. Oh, he's blocking my stuff. Oh, this time I'll hop in. You know? Mix up your options, but don't cancel things into specials. That's something that's useful in other 2D fighters, but in this game, usually your special moves aren't as good on block as just your normals are. So just finish your string with normals and stop and try again. That didn't combo. Oh, I'm so bad. Um, let's see. As far as the, uh... Oh, I did this backwards. <laughs> I did this backwards. As far as this kick goes, though, um, if you do land the hard kick version, you do land, you do get a full juggle, and you do get uh, really good mix-ups off of it, so it is going to be what you want to combo into most of the time. Okay. Let's see. And the EX version does launch a bit higher. 
So it is possible to do really interesting combos with the EX version. Um, but besides that, uh, I, you don't really see the EX version used a whole lot, um, except in particular types of juggle combos. Feel free to experiment. Now he's got one more special, the one I skipped over. I went one, two, three, five, and then here's the fourth one. Half circle back, light kick, and hard kick. Okay. And what this special move does, if you're far away, you just sort of dash at your opponent. Okay. Um, the light kick version goes about half screen, and the hard kick version goes almost full screen, but not quite. Now, if this actually connects in the timing, okay, you get 158 damage on all of them. Oh, excuse me, on both of them. The EX version is actually different in that it's not an actual attack. Let me demonstrate here. If, they're blo if they block, you just sort of run into them and you stop, and this is totally punishable, by the way. Oh, no! Something like minus six at least. Minus six, minus seven. You will get punished if this is blocked, so don't overuse this. And don't cancel into it unless you know they're going to get hit by something. Okay. Uh, let's see. But it's the same with both versions. They both have the same uh, really punishable recovery. The EX version, though, notice he's set to all guard. If it's possible for him to guard an attack, he will. The EX version of Half Circle Back Kick is a command grab. Okay. This works on people who are blocking, and this is very fast on startup, and it is fully invincible. Okay. The light one? Nothing. Hard one? Oh, missed it. Nothing. EX. The EX version has full body hit and throw invincibility for just a couple of frames, and you can totally use it to wake up. Um, if the, your opponent is pressing you too much, just keep in mind it is a command grab. So they could do something like this. Let's just see what happens if you try to use it too much. No! Alright, don't use it too much, just like every other command grab, if they just jump at the right time, you will get destroyed. But this is a decent wake-up move, but it's also good on offense. If your opponent is blocking way too much, especially crouch guarding, you can totally use this by running up to your opponent, and then doing this special. And if they, if they do continue to block, you absolutely will be able to land this. It costs a bar, but you get 180 damage, and just like off the regular one, Uh, you do gain the same knockdown, okay, so you have the same ability to actually follow up. Let's see. Other than that, though, you might use it for some combos, uh, like drive cancels. The shoulder is drive cancelable. So you could totally use it for cool stuff. Okay, um, let's see. Also, it is interesting to note, I want you to notice something here. It's really tough to see, but I'm going to do two jabs, and then I'm going to do half-circle back kick. Now I'm going to do two jabs and then run. Which do you think is faster? Can't do it. Hold on. If you just run, that's actually slower than whiffing half circle back light kick. Go ahead and rack your brain trying to come up with reasons why that might be true. See if you can figure it out before the end of the video when I show you why. Now, um, other than that though, that's pretty much it. You combo into the light of the hard one. You get your mix-ups, because it, it causes you an untackable knockdown. And you use the EX one as a command grab. You know, if they do, uh, 
if they do, uh, you know, block too much, use the EX one. But in addition, uh, don't forget what the mix-up actually is after the special. If you land the special, okay, you have two different really good cross-up mix-ups based on the jumping down C. Okay, so let's start with the obvious. If you run a little bit and then super jump, it's really hard for your opponent to see if there's if this is going to hit in the front or if it's going to hit in the back. And you can totally loop this if they do fall for it more than once, okay? Unless, of course, you hit them into the corner. But another thing you can do besides the super jump one is you can try to jump at the hyper hop range. And then your opponent has to try to guess if this is going to cross up at the hyper hop as well. Okay? It can be really tough to see. So those are the two main mix-ups you can do if you do land this attack. And then the third mix-up would be something like an empty jump, or... Let's see. Or you could run up. Oh, darn, I can't do it. Or you could run up. Do it this time. And maybe say back dash down C just to avoid their reversal and maybe scare them into something else. Um, let's see. That's his specials. Um, Orochinagi. Uh, uh, you, know, you know what? I've been saying his name wrong the whole time. His name is Kyo Kusanagi. There's only one syllable. It's not Kyo. Not Kyo Frio. <laughs> not Mucho Frio. No, it's Kyo. Please correct me if I keep saying Kyo. I mean Kyo. Yeah, whatever. Just being a weeaboo, sorry. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's try this one more time. Wow, I ran out of meter. That's why. Alright, here we go. Light Orochinagi, no lower body invincibility. Fierce Orochinagi, no lower body invincibility. EX Orochinagi, yes. <laughs> On lower body. is some upper body invincibility on the light and the harder Rochinagis. Okay? Notice those attacks missing. Let me just re-record just so you can see. Notice it just sort of goes through his body, but if I didn't reversal or just held back, it would make contact really early in the jump. Okay. And EX version has full body invincibility. Okay? Let's see. Uh, but uh, what you should know about this super, um, it's really useful in juggles, okay? Particularly with this really hard drive cancel. Okay? Being able to use air Orochinagi both as an anti air, both as an anti air and in juggles, is what is going to make you a really good Kyo player. Um, and so, that said, you are going to have to learn some somewhat, uh, shall we say, difficult corner juggles in order to maximize his damage. But this Air Orochinagi, including the EX Air Orochinagi, is one of his biggest sources of damage and juggle potential. And so you will be using it frequently if you do land combos in the corner. And just like I said, when you were, um, as far as this move, um, you, can, you can try to super cancel into that on hit to try to get some additional damage. Uh, the ground Orochinagi, you can combo it off a few things. Um, but usually I launch them with something before I combo into Orochinagi. You can definitely do that. Now, uh, let's see if I can get this to work here. If you remember, the quarter circle forward hard kick is actually minus three, okay? You can confirm this in the frame data. If I try to punish this with EX Orochinagi, this does not work, right? 
Regular Orochinagi is too slow. Okay. And EX Orochinagi is also too slow, right? If I can get this right, hold on. Nope, not right. Let's see, let me give it a few more attempts. Oi! That's nah, too. Is that too much? There it is! Oh, I found it. I got it. Oh, oh, it was so close. So close! Did you see that one time I actually got it to work? Does anybody know why that is? Okay, well the reason, let's see if I can get it one more time, is because if you charge this the perfect amount of time, Oh, I'm not even doing the motion. Oh, I'm terrible. One more time. One more time. Oh, I didn't get it. If you charge this, uh, if you haven't noticed something about the Orochinagi, when you do it, you can actually hold the punch button down. Now, in some old games, this would make this unblockable. In some old games, all of Kyo's body would have a hitbox around it, blah, blah. But the EX version... Uh, I mean, currently charging it doesn't do anything, alright? If, if we just hit them with a level 1 Orochinagi, it does 210. We charge this all the way, it still does 210. EX version, does 360, charging it all the way, still does 360. So why would you charge it? Well, the EX version, if you charge it, the perfect amount of time actually starts up faster. Okay? And what I mean by that is, when you activate this super... Right there, while the screen is black during the super flash, time is not actually passing within the game. No actual frames are advancing. So you're charging during this freeze. And if you let go at the perfect timing, it actually starts up in two frames instead of the normal startup. Remember that Kyo's... Remember that Kyo's uh, quarter forward hard kick is minus three. And remember that this does not punish. But, if you do charge this the perfect amount of time. Oh, come on. Oh. If you do charge this the perfect amount of time, and I'm going to fail at this a few more times here, it actually comes out faster. And you can use this to punish things that a lot of people would consider unpunishable, number one. Oh, that's not it. Oh, jeez. I think I'm gonna give up. Oh, I wonder if Desmond knows what the proper timing is. There it is! Woo! Bam! Haha. <laughs> so, um, if you can master this, it's a, it's a pr particular amount of time. Press the two punches, wait the perfect amount of time, and let it go, and it actually comes out faster than it normally should. And this allows you to punish things that are minus two on block, which is a lot of things in the game, okay? Um, this is one of the things that Kyo players can really do to increase their level, okay? This EX Orochinagi, if you charge it the right amount of time, is an incredibly useful tool. If you have two bars, you become way scarier. And, not to mention, for two bars, he has really, really great corner combos. Okay. So, that said, if you do want to be a really good kill player, you do need to learn how to use EX Orochinagi the right way. And last but not least, we've got his Neo Max. Ura Hyaku Nijuichi Shiki Amano Murakumo. My Japanese is terrible. Now this is a full screen projectile. And it'll pretty much destroy every other projectile in the game. 
Does it destroy every projectile in the game? I'm pretty sure it does. I don't know off the top of my head. Maybe. You might want to double check. But. This does a little bit more damage if you are closer to your opponent. Oh, you know what? That's not what it is. Ten. Nine. Okay. So this actually does, when it destroys a projectile, lose a hit. That's why it does a little less damage when it destroys that projectile. Just a little less. Barely 20. But this is very, very fast and travels full screen. So it is one of the more useful Neomaxes in the game. You can absolutely use this. If you see your opponent flinch or do anything remotely risky or slow, you can just sort of chuck that out. And it'll catch him, and you're going to get good damage. Okay. It is an unteckable knockdown, so if somehow you land this at close range... Actually, never mind. There it was. There he teched the knockdown. I must be blind. Um, so it is a techable knockdown. Um, you're not really going to get anything afterwards. You just want to throw it out as a one-time punish for really, really slow or questionable decisions that your opponent makes. Um, it is really good at the end of HDs as well. Oh. Didn't have an HD meter. Okay. You're going to get all the hits um, of that Neomax no matter what if you do combo into it. So, um, it's useful, but don't overuse it. I mean, as I've said with every other character in the game, I will reiterate. Three bars and two drives to punish one mistake for 500? If you actually landed a three bar HD combo, you might be able to get 900 or more depending on your character. So do you want to spend the meter? Is it worth it? It might be. Make that decision. So, you know what? I, I did not cover his normal throw, but you'll be happy to know if you saw the EX Kyo video. It's more of the same. You can do the same mix-ups that you get off of, say, the half circle back kick. The exact same mix-ups. Okay. You can do the hyper hop cross up. Uh, you can do the super jump cross up. It's just a matter of you setting up the jumps properly. And making sure your opponent is scared of things. Okay. Um, but it is an unteckable knockdown. Remember that passive move is on. So same mix ups. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it for his moves. So let me go into some of the combos that he'll use, and I'll end with uh, his basic strategy. Um, let's see. Let me, let me, let me do that again. Um, his ba uh, let me start with basic strategy, then go into some combos. Kyo's... <laughs> Kyo. Kyo's basic strategy... What's a good way to put this? Uh, Kyo's basic strategy is to make his opponent do something. Um, more or less that's true for every character in the game, but let me go into depth on how you would do that. Let's say you're far away from your opponent, right? What can you do over here? I can run Neomax! Well, good answer, but that's terrible. So let's try another one, okay? You can throw a fireball. Sure. But remember, you recover really slowly on this fireball, so you're not going to get any offense off of this. If you're throwing the fireball, it should be with the intent to make your opponent avoid it. If you think your opponent is going to try to avoid your fireball, then don't throw it. Instead, run forward. If they jump at you, anti-air that. Don't let them jump at you. If they jump at you, hyper hop at them with a CD. Don't let them hop at you. Take their options away, okay? Um, you could throw the EX fireball because if they're too slow, you might get that hit and then you can try to get back in, okay? But that's more or less a far range tool at mid range. I would not recommend throwing this fireball. Maybe the EX once in a while because it's so fast. But don't throw the fireball a whole lot. Throw it from far range just because there's not much they can do about it. But watch out, you know, if the opponent's Q, they could throw their Neomax or something. You need to be very careful with when you use it. Okay, that's number one. But you're eventually you're going to get to a mid range. And in the mid range, Q has, you know, I mean, besides the fireball, he doesn't really have any other options. The running, the running hit grab is unsafe. So what you have to do is just space well and use your jumping and ground normals effectively. Okay? This is what we call KOF fundamentals because these are the skills that will take you, you know, far with every character in the game. And with Kyo, you have to do it. Okay? Um, the maximum range of your hyper hop CD is about the range of the beginning of the round. With a couple of pixels to spare. Okay? So just keep that in mind. This is the range where you have threat with a hyper hop. Okay? 
So you want to try to get to this range, okay? If you're in this range, your opponent now knows that you are a threat. If you land a jump in, you could totally make their day terrible. Okay? And that's not what they want to let you do. So, if you think that they're going to avoid you, how are they going to do it? They're going to walk backwards. Alrighty then. Get back in there. They're going to try jumping away. Alrighty then. Get back in there. <laughs> they're going to try to throw a fireball. Uh, get in there. <laughs> they're going to try to stick out attacks to prevent you from jumping. Well, you got plenty of options. You could try to full jump over those attacks. You could try to run up and trip those attacks. You could throw your fireball. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm getting into his mix-ups and mind games at this point, but what you need to do to be a good kill player is you need to mix up your mid-range approach. When you're in the mid-range, sometimes CD, sometimes C, sometimes regular hop to try to bait an anti-air and then miss intentionally. Sometimes run up and then backdash down C to reset the spacing. Sometimes at mid-range, throw that EX fireball because you know they're not scared of it. Sometimes, backdash down C, run up, backdash down C, do nothing. Using all of these different types of movement options, including jumping straight up, hopping straight up, hopping backwards, fireballs at a safer range, you know? Using all of these, oh, oh, let's not forget. Woo! Chucking one of these out in case you think your opponent is going to jump at you. Using all of these tools are what's going to give you a good mid-range game. And the mid-range game is where Kyo, is where Kyo, is going to need to be good in order to get offensive momentum. And once he gets a normal throw, or if he gets one of these combos, or if he can just get one low kick, he has the momentum and you need to run with it because Kyo has one of the best close range offenses in the game. The same is true of EX Kyo as well. EX version also has a great offense. Same hopping down C, more or less. Slightly different, but I won't go into it. Um, let's see, uh, more or less the same crouching attacks. Uh, very similar confirms, but not quite the same. So what's the difference? Well, the difference is if Kyo has you blocking, he can make you stop blocking proactively by actually grabbing you with something other than normal throw, okay? Let's not also forget that he also has an overhead and he also has probably one of the dirtiest cross-ups in the game. So Kyo can totally ruin someone's day. Uh, Kyo can just totally ruin someone's day who blocks too much. If they block too much, you get way more mix-ups than most characters get by utilizing run-up low, by utilizing cross-up down C from full and from hyper hops. Um, really, just Kyo is an offensive monster once he gets in. So by having a strong mid-range game to go with your strong up-close offense and having the ability to anti-air uppercut on reaction, those are the skills that will put you above and beyond the other kill players, okay? And th that's what you need to do if you want to be good at KOF 13 with regular kill. You'll, you, you might remember from the EX kill video that I would tell you that you just want to sort of Rekka here, use neutral jump D, um, and, and play a little defensively. Well, regular kill can still play defensively by using neutral jump normals here, but he can't stop the ground approach with a Rekka. Regular kill doesn't have, or kill 95, I think that sounds way really cool. I think Kyo95 sounds way cooler. Uh, he doesn't have anything to stop the ground approach other than just ground normals. He doesn't have anything with armor on it, okay? He has invincibility, but no armor. And everything he has with invincibility has some startup on it, or is really risky on block. EX Kyo could just sort of throw those Rekkas out almost if they're spaced right. Regular Kyo, if you want to play him to his strengths, you need to be able to have a competent offense, okay? And you need to be able to use movements to throw your opponent off. Okay? So, you might say, well, Juice, I know how to move, well, what combos should I do? Glad you asked. Here's some basic bread and butters that you can use. After this, super jump, get more offense, or do whatever version of the mix-up you prefer. You can also do this. That'll also work if you have quick reactions. You can do that. If you're fast enough to do the, the two low kick string. That's actually a pretty decent confirm in this case. That's not necessarily a beginner combo, but if you can practice that, that will turn into full combos in the corner.
okay? Um, let's see. Let's say you actually land a cross-up. What should you do? Well, close C, down forward D. Same combo. Okay. You'll notice that I'm confirming it's a quarter forward hard kick both ways. Well, pretty much yes. It's going to carry them far, far range, and you're going to get this move at the end of it, which is going to get you additional mix-ups and pressure. Well, what if I want to spend some meter and do some more damage? Well, here's something you can do. One bar. You could do that. In fact, even if you do this from really far away, you're almost going to carry them to the corner. My back was all the way on the right corner here, and now they're practically in the left corner. This is a great corner carry uh, for just one bar. No other drive, nothing else, just one bar. Does good damage and carries them really, really far. Say so you want to spend two bars. Do this. Just do one of those reverse DP kicks, then let out EX Orochinagi. In fact, if you can do the perfectly timed charge, you can do two. But you have to time the charge right. And I timed it right there. <laughs> Let me just show you it missing just so you understand. Oh, I, char I charged that one too long. Ah. See, there we go. If you do that, as a, if you just let it go, it will miss. So you, you want to charge it properly. Um, let's see. Uh, let's say you actually land quarter forward hard kick and they're in the corner. What should you do? Well, you have many options. This is one of Kyo's strengths, okay? He has great ability to turn drive meter into regular meter and regular meter back to drive meter. Let me just go ahead and have one bar and one drive just to demonstrate. Say you have one bar and one drive. What's a good combo? Well, here's a good one. Okay, pretty good damage. You're going to get even more if you get a jump in. Now notice here, I have one stock. Look at all the meter. I almost built a whole stock during this combo. Okay, when you use drive cancels with Kyo, especially in the corner, you have an excellent ability to actually convert almost your drive meter into regular stock because when Kyo does corner combos, he builds a lot of meter. He really does. Um, another thing you can do is, let's see. Oh, missed it. I missed it. Oh, too early. There we go. That combo actually does build the whole stock. And it does uh, comparable damage. Uh, let's see. You might say, well, what if I have two bars? Well, there's a few things you can do. But probably the most meter efficient thing, and this will take quite a bit of practice, is doing the EX Air Orochinagi instantly off of the ground. To do it instantly, you must you want to input this motion. Just do the Orochinagi motion. That's quarter back to half forward, but then hit up forward and hit the punches right after you leave the ground. This will take you some practice, but once you can do it, it grants a full juggle state, and you can get some excellent combos off of this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I forgot to say meterless. If you're meterless, you have no meter. You can just do this. Pretty simple. Uh, really nothing you need to pull your hair out over. Uh, let's see. Uh, there is a particular drive cancel that is useful in some of Kyo's HD combos and is also useful. Um, you, you, you'll see this come up in some of his trials. But there's a particular drive cancel. Uh, this one. Canceling an uppercut 
into the reverse uppercut kick move, okay? Um, and I just want to show you that there are two different methods to actually doing this. The first one is the method I use. I mostly just do it as written. Okay. Um, I input a forward and then a quarter forward and hit punch. This allows me to get the light DP. And then, because I'm on an arcade stick, when I hit forward, I can easily come across to back. Okay? And, be and because I just pressed forward, I do this. Okay? From the forward, I find that easy to do. Okay? But a lot of people have trouble because they don't want to do it as it's written. They find, uh, they find it really hard to do this. Okay? That, I will admit, is pretty difficult. That took me many, many weeks, if not months of training, to actually get down. So what you can do, this is a bit of a long cut, it, but you can try this. Oh, uh, uh, let's, let's uh, do this. Oh, missed it. Uh, not quite. Get this motion perfect. There we go. What you can do is you can input a half circle back and then a forward. If you input a half circle back and then a forward in KOF 13, you actually get a dragon punch, okay? Now some characters have a half circle back forward move and a dragon punch, like Elizabeth, like EX Yori, like Daimon. For those characters, you will not be able to do this because this motion accomplishes a different special. But for not Kyo for Kyo 95, Kyo, 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 not Kyo, Kyo. Um, if you do this motion, notice that just before you input the forward to finish the DP, you just input a back. Because you just input a back, if you take that half back, and then you keep coming back around, almost like you're doing a double half circle back, notice where the light kick is in my notation. And notice that just before the light kick, I hit down and down back. So what's going on here is you're doing a double half circle back. You're just doing a double half circle back, but you hit a punch after you hit the forward, and you hit a kick after you hit down back. And you don't actually go all the way to back. I'll show you one more time. Okay. Half circle back, forward punch. Then keep doing a second half circle back. And when you get to down back, stop and hit light kick. If you actually do a second half back, this will happen. Because he does have a half circle back kick move. So you want to make sure that does not happen. By making sure you stop on the corner. And the easiest way to stop on the corner if you do have an arcade stick is to uh, just leave it alone. Most arcade sticks come with what's called a square gate. Meaning that the corners of the stick form a natural edge. Okay, If you move your arcade stick as far as it's possible, you'll notice that you stop on up left, up right, down right, down left. All stock Mad Cat sticks, Hori sticks have the square gate. If you have a square gate, great. That will help you with the execution of this. Stop on the bottom left gate on this. Oops. Oof. Dropped it. I actually don't use this motion anymore because I find this to be more clunky than just doing it as written. Okay? But do whatever whatever you are able to practice, whatever you are able to do, this is a very useful drive cancel. I will say that if you are brand new to KOF 13, don't worry about this drive cancel. This will come with time. The more and more you practice, the more you look into it. But there are plenty of good combos you can do without using this drive cancel. So don't worry about it too much if you can't do it. But this is a key drive cancel if you do want to get his maximum damage HD combos. So let me show you a couple of simple HD combos that you can do. Okay? Let's say all you've got is two bars. There's quite a few things you can do with this. Um... Uh, 
I don't have a good idea. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a simple one. Let's see. Um, well, what I will say is the ones that I I learned, they do have that drive cancel in them. Um, let, let me let me show you what some of the top KO let me show you what some of the top KO players do when they do a mid-screen HD combo. This is really, really interesting. Oh jeez. Let's use hard kick, it's easier. This is one of his best mid-screen HD combos, if not the best. It involves a lot of interesting run-unders. You might have been curious, maybe a while back in the video I said, why would this be faster than his run? Because if you cancel into it, you can actually do really interesting juggle combos. Okay, and if you do have additional bars, you can totally turn this combo into more damage. Okay, now, if you do have the corner, okay, in the corner, um, or if they're near the corner, there's a different one that you can do with this very difficult drive cancel. Okay, the corner version does a little bit more damage. Both of these HD combos are difficult. But these are some of the best ones that he has available to him, damage-wise. Because you keep doing the first hit, which is a lot of damage, on his uppercut, and you keep doing it over and over, okay? Learning how to do these HD combos, these two that I showed you, will get you the best damage for your meter most of the time. But, that might be difficult. So, don't forget about other options. That shouldn't have been EX, that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Okay, you have to time that reverse DP kick right. You have to wait just a little bit. Oh, I think I dropped that one. Oh, that doesn't work. Um, let's see. It's been a while since I've done this particular HD. I don't use it anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should edit this out of the video. All oh, my mistakes! Yeah, that's not gonna work either. Um, you know, while I'm failing this combo many times, this would be a good time to say, there's no shame in keeping it really simple. Like, really simple. Like, this simple. Don't worry about it. As I've said before, if you can't do a combo, don't try to implement it. Just practice it and try to practice it over and over so that you get it good enough that you can implement it, okay? Don't worry about it. Only use the combos that you can actually do and practice the ones that you can't do until you can do them, okay? But have, but you should be completely content doing a really simple combo. Except without screwing up your max cancel. Not my day, huh? Um, let's see. There we go. Okay, if you time that reverse DP kick right, you can basically go into your meterless corner combo and finish it with light uppercut, Neo Max.
And also keep in mind, this is just the combo that I'm showing you. There are many, many more corner carry combos with, with Kyo. I know this for a fact. <laughs> there are many, many more corner carry combos with Kyo. So feel free to experiment. Ask other Kyo players. See what they use. And use whatever you find easiest and best. Okay? But this is a simple 2 bar HD that you can do almost anywhere on the screen. Okay? Um, but learning how to use this particular drive cancel is what's going to get you really, really far as far as his damage. Okay? Um, let's see. So I've gone over his normals, his specials, his command normals, his basic strategy, simple combos. Corner combos, HD combos. I mean, you might say, hey, you know, you only show a couple simple combos, and I'm like, well, that's all you need to see. That's all I really use. Don't overcomplicate things. Knowing some more complicated or some more meter heavy combos is okay. Uh, and if you can do them, then great, go ahead and do them. It's just a matter of you want to make that decision, and meter management is going to come into play. Um, I will talk more about meter management in other videos, but keep in mind that the purpose of these videos is to show beginners and people new to a character, the general game plan, and just more or less what all the special moves are for and what they're, what they, how they can be used in many ways. Um, so that just about does it for the Kyo 95 tutorial. Hopefully you understand more about the offensive and defensive differences between Kyo and EX Kyo. So uh, that said, that's about it, and uh, more videos to come. Thanks for watching.